What happened to that dude's wife? She fell off the front porch when your car slammed into us. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm Carl. This is my wife, Susan. <clears throat> Thanks for sharing your food with us. If there's anything we can do. Uh, we're both great cooks. Spreadsheets. I'm really good at Excel. We could use Excel to keep track of your food as it dwindles down to nothing. I could make a pie chart. Get it? I have to admit, my memory's pretty fuzzy going back any earlier than the last 10 minutes. I didn't have time to generate a backstory of your characters. I'd like to point out here that I'm an actual person and not a character. And what's your name? Deadly Ninja? Better than Incompetent Ninja or Desk Job Ninja or Achemophobia Ninja. That would be Fear of Ninja Swords Ninja. Well, Fear of Any Sword or Any Blade, really. Actually, it's the fear of any sharp thing, so it could be needles or broken glass or even a sharp pencil. You definitely don't want to be Achemophobia Ninja. That's really my point. I'd be like, can't even cut a sandwich, Ninja. Exactly. Yeah, I prefer Deadly Ninja. Definitely prefer Deadly Ninja. What was that? Searching memory banks to identify the sound. I have identified the sound. I'm afraid we may be in a wee tiny bit of trouble. Trouble? Why are we in trouble? Because this house is a magnet for trouble. I'm just saying, most people enter life as a howling, terrified infant. We started life with a purpose. But we're just stereotypes. We have explicit boundaries around our expected behavior, by definition. I'm sure that even the most dedicated deadly ninja has hobbies, interests, passions outside of being a deadly ninja. Actually, they probably have to give all of that up. So we just burst into existence, fully trained with no other focus? I don't know about fully trained. One of you killed the ambassador. Oh, well, I got excited. Hey now, don't be so hard on yourself. You'd only been self-aware for a couple minutes. And that jacket was just so shiny. You had to stab that jacket. I really did. Coffee table, what was that? That is the sound of a predator announcing to others of its kind that prey is in range, so that they may coordinate an attack. Prey? You people are prey? What kind of predator eats houses? It's coming after you, isn't it, coffee table? I'm designed to recognize the sound as dangerous and flee when I detect it. Then why aren't we fleeing? Because then we'll lose Adrian and Melody for good. How about to do something? Do what? I don't know, you make deadly ninjas appear out of thin air, write up something that will help us. Fine, but I don't do well under deadline pressure. I'm sorry, what is she doing? Sometimes when she writes stuff, it comes to life. That's how we got the deadly ninjas. We might have been better off in the car. Hopefully, I've just created a camouflage system for the house. Hopefully, this controls it. Did it work? Nope. It feels like it worked. It should have worked! There's no reason this remote should even exist if there's nothing for it to control. I think the only thing we can meaningfully do is embrace our given archetypes and dedicate ourselves to protecting Tabitha at all costs, no matter what the risk. Agreed. Tabitha has given us a chance for true glory, enlisting us to help shield her from danger during one of the most perilous times in her life. Tabitha? For as long as you'll have us, even if it means our lives, from here to the very edges of reality, our swords are yours to command. Your swords are useless. Wait, not again! My name is Pivotal Moment. Are you the new ambassador? 
No. The negotiations are over. 